didn't give you that for a negligee. It's an evening wrap. I know, Miss Lola, but the negligee what you give me got all toe up night before last. Your day off is sure brutal on your lingerie. Damn it. There's one of the finest little weenies that ever graced a paper plate. It's a little shrivel from old age. But of course, you can't have everything. Hey, what do you call this plate? Probably one of the Virgin Islands. Heaven forbid. What time did they leave? Right after you passed out, sir. Well, I hope you took over my duties as host, Layton. Yes, sir. I took the big blonde home. <laughs> I will dismiss, discharge, and disqualify any employee who gets familiar with the guests. But what happens if the guests get familiar with us? Uh, quiet! He's a grand kid. Now he can take home to dinner and no hard feelings if you don't ask him to stay to breakfast. <laughs> and no hard feelings if you do, huh? <laughs> Would you step into my parlor, says the spider to the fly? Nice little spider, though. Cute spider. I meant about Mr. Hinchcliffe is that he knows I've had a lot of experience in Chicago. Yeah, you look it. I beg your pardon. Jane telephoned in and said that you slapped her on the... Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, oh, that. So what? Oh, that was purely an accident. Uh, how could it be an accident? Oh, I was going to slap her on the shoulder and she'd been over. Will you please give me my suit? Sure. Take it out and have it filled for me. Well, I'll be seeing you. You think too much of me already. Well, then come with me. I'll drop you somewhere in the suburbs, untouched. Untouched in the suburbs? Oh, no. No, that doesn't intrigue me at all. How about a dash of whiskey? Nature's own remedy. The very thing. Strange I didn't think of that myself. No, I haven't. How do you, uh, how do you like it, Leslie? Hmm? Fine, Bill. I couldn't do better myself. done over. Dressed up in your honor. New curtains and, uh, uh, you did get new curtains, didn't you, Renee? Yes, George. New curtains and uh, twin beds. <laughs> mm, yeah. One of these South Americans got below the equator that we haven't. Music is certainly a wonderful thing. I meet you and five minutes later you're in my arms. Do you have to have music? I don't know. Do I? I'm going to ask if you came with a gentleman. Yes, I do. Oh. But that doesn't mean that he's taking me home. I hate to quit on you, but cheer up. Maybe I talk in my sleep. Huh? Oh, that's an idea. Well, good night. Good. I'm also a mind reader. Sister, if you could read my mind right now, you'd throw me out of here. Oh, so you expect to stay here until morning? Oh, I'm forced to. Tomorrow the chase starts all over again. I must have a peaceful night. A peaceful night in my bedroom. What's there in it for you? Now, this is no place to discuss that. Come on, let's go upstairs. Can't you read? Oh, I'm no gentleman. I'd like to show you my crystal. Come here. I saw. Who's that dame wearing my kimono? Yes, dear. I've sent for both your mothers, and of course, you'll have to be examined first. Ex examined? 
Doctor will be here in a few minutes. Women, madame, are like cigars. Cigars? Once you let them go out, they are never so good again. And I've always been so true to my husband. You are much too good to be true. Are you jealous of my husband? Why shouldn't I be? He has you. You too? Good morning, Mr. Jensen. Your husband's on his way up. Yes, the back elevator's working. Wait a minute, Bill. Come on out to the station house. The lieutenant's throwing a party. We can't even get some clothes. No, we want you just as you are. Oh, it's that kind of a party. Yes, it's that well, kind of a, a party. Wait a minute, don't get to... Uh, Miss LaRue, just what constitutes a, a strict tease? A good constitution and a couple of zippers. <laughs> You're a pretty oh, lucky girl. Hey, somebody get me something to wear. Oh, Another dinner at the Jim Connor Club with the same old Nico to take me and the same fussy old people to dance with. I think I'll create a diversion and go like this. Renee. Oh. So, uh, are you a good chauffeur? What's the matter with the boyfriend? Paralyzed? Oh, uh, he wants me to help him check up on his uh, groceries. New one, isn't she, Albert? Must be, or she wouldn't be out on a night like this. No weather for a dog. Nor for no cat, neither. And there's a cat in the alley. No cat can disturb me. No, there are tricks in every trade. You ought to know, dearie. Your trade is the oldest. We're very anxious to get to New Orleans. And, uh, now, uh, I thought... I was reading a book the other day. Reading a book? Yes, it's all about civilization or something. A nutty kind of a book. Uh, Do you know that the guy says that machinery is going to take the place of every profession? Oh, my dear. That's something you need never worry about. <laughs> Want a ride, sister? No, thanks. I'm just walking home from one. I don't like working with that guy. Well, what's the matter? Well, I rode uptown in a taxi with him, and I haven't any skin left on my knees. What were you two doing, kneeling in prayer? He was doing the kneeling. I darn near went off the side of the cab. Job number three is now a thing of the past. Yeah, what happened? Oh, the manager had a lot of brand new ideas. He tried to take my waist measurement. Oh, I thought a ride in the park would calm your nerves. Well, there's nothing wrong with my nerves. No? No. Oh, well, maybe you'd come with me. I need the air. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm giving you the air. <laughs> <laughs>